Hi everyone and welcome to Edinburgh's How To Series. In these episodes, we're going to give you a comprehensive breakdown of all things surfing. Starting with the most basic aspects, moving right through to your most advanced skills and manoeuvres. So whether you're just starting out or you've been surfing your whole life, this series is going to help you develop a more in-depth understanding of the ocean and take your surfing to the next level. In this episode, we're going to take a closer look at paddling. Being a fundamental of surfing, it's crucial that you get this part right and avoid making simple mistakes. Having the correct technique is going to reduce fatigue, reduce strain, and then increase endurance and efficiency. And ultimately, increase your wave count. What is paddling? Why is it so important? Paddling is the technique required for maneuvering around the ladder, ensuring correct wave positioning, and most importantly, avoiding danger. Do's, don'ts. Do's, don'ts. Do's, don'ts. Maybes. Do's. Position yourself on the board so that the nose is slightly protruding out of the water. Your back is arched enough so that the first part of your chest that is making contact with the board is just below the bottom of your sternum. Your feet are together and just out of the water. Keeping your feet together is going to help you balance and keep you more streamlined. Once your hand breaks the surface of the water, Make the backward stroke strong and deep to ensure the maximum efficiency of the stroke. Once the backward stroke is complete, just skim your hand along the top of the water whilst returning to the forward position, much the way that a rower's oar is brought back to the forwards position. Sometimes the motion of paddling alone will not create enough momentum to effectively catch the wave. To overcome this, in addition to paddling, add a short burst of kicking to increase forward momentum. Don't. If your fingers look like this, then they're too far apart. Also, make sure that you don't keep your fingers too close together. The main reason most people miss waves is because they're not paddling hard enough or they're not paddling efficiently. It's not about paddling for your wave over a long distance. If you watch the best surfers at your local lineup, you'll notice they're always positioned well and they'll probably only take three to maybe six strokes to get into their waves. So the best thing that you can do for your paddle fitness and endurance as simple as it sounds, is literally just go surfing. Keep moving around the lineup, don't sit still. That is the thing that is going to help you get better at paddling and increase your endurance. So this is also going to help you for those days when it's bigger, there's more water moving, you're struggling to stay in position, or battle through the powerful whitewash. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions regarding this episode or improving your paddling, Drop us a comment below.